fill the pot with sands of time. Let it soak in lizard slime. the cone of a witch's hat. Lastly, dip your vampire bat. Huh. That cage shouldn't be open. Ah! Oh, man, I knew I should have closed the windows. Oh, no. That's not good. See how this looks. Oh, great! I have no reflection. Hey, Akira. Hi, Walker. I'm totally fine and normal. That's great to hear. Have you seen my straight jacket? I'm working on a new escape trick. Oh, are you okay? What happened to your neck? I burned myself with the straightening iron. So when do you straighten your hair? I don't. Since when do you? not mind your own business. Oh. Ew, that looks like blood. What, no, no, this isn't, this isn't blood. It's tomato juice. Wait a minute. Two red dots on your neck, red juice that looks like blood. <gasps> Akira, have you been bitten by a vampire? <laughs> what, no. You really need to stop worrying so much. Of course I'm not a vampire. Speaking of vampires, want to see my new blood magic trick? When have I ever wanted to see a blood magic trick? A good point. How about I just show you this picture I framed of you and me on our two-year friend anniversary? Aww, I love this. Yeah, and nothing could ever tear us apart, right? Right. Because if that happened, my heart would bleed! Ah! And your heart would bleed! Ah! No! And <sighs> that's my new blood magic trick. I have to admit, that was pretty cool, but also very, very disgusting. Want to see how I did it? Do I have a choice? Nope. Let's go to the junk drawer. For this trick, you'll need a picture frame, a photograph, a piece of cardboard, cardstock, scissors, duct tape, latex gloves, a cup of water, red food dye, a spoon, a pencil, a glue stick, a funnel, and a marker. Start with your glass of water and add some drops of red food dye. Mix the water up with your spoon. You now have fake blood. Pour your blood in a latex glove with your funnel. Now tie off two fingers and cut them off. You now have your blood balloons. Now, take apart your picture frame and put it off to the side. Take your photo and glue it to your cardstock. Cut off the excess around it. Now, find two spots where you want to stab your picture and mark an X on the cardstock behind your photo. Put your photo in your frame and off to the side. Now take the back of your picture frame and trace it twice on the corners of your cardboard. Cut out the cardboard like this.
Now tape these pieces together. And check to make sure it fits snugly inside the back of your picture frame. Now, using the cardstock for reference, mark an X on your cardboard in the spots where you're stabbing the picture. Use a ruler to help find the spots. Now, cut out a small section of cardboard with your X's, like this. Throw this piece away. Now, put your blood balloons on top of the X's on your cardstock. Tape them down like this. Put the remaining pieces of cardboard back into your frame and seal it shut. That's all the prep, now for the trick. To start, show off your photo to your audience. Take out a sharp pencil and tell your audience you have a little surprise. Then stab the blood balloon right through the photo. Your audience will totally freak when they see the blood shooting out. Be sure to squeeze the balloon to make sure all the blood comes out. Then just repeat the trick with your second balloon. And that's all there is to it. Here, I made you one too. Wish me luck, I'm gonna try it. That was perfect. Too much blood. I'm gonna go lay down. I don't think your band-aid's working. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. If you say so. A dozen eyeballs, an ogre brain. I think I got everything. Oh. What's cooking? Nothing. It's so dark in here. No, don't open the... Come on, that potion didn't work. I spent so much time on that. You're a, you're a... A vampire. You were right all along. What? Are you gonna bite me? I don't know, I'm freaking out. Ah! You're a, you're a, you're a bat. Forgot to mention, I turn into a bat when I'm freaking out. Okay, how did this all happen? It's a long story, but I'll tell you fast. I was trying to make an invisibility potion, so I needed a vampire bat, but then the bat escaped from his cage and bit my neck, so I turned into a vampire. But I didn't want you to worry, so I made up excuses and pretended everything was normal. But now I'm trying to make a remedy potion before I totally transform into this! Any questions? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Maybe I missed an ingredient. Allium sativum is tinfoil, right? Sure, sounds right. I don't have much time left before I lose control. It's probably best if you stay away from me. No! I'm not going anywhere. You're my best friend, and we stick together. Don't worry. I have a plan to cure you. Thanks. You're really handling all the blood stuff well. That's not tomato juice. No. <laughs> okay. really have to wear that neck pillow in public? Gee, I don't know, Akira. You tell me. I'm sorry, I told you. It's hard to control myself. Don't worry, I got you covered. By taking me to Garlic Garden? I'm a vampire, I hate garlic. Exactly, you have to eat garlic to turn human again. Ciao, benvenuto. Welcome to Garlic Garden. When you're here, you're gonna eat a garden. My name is Sebastian, I'll be helping you this beautiful evening. May I get you something to drink? Perhaps a bottle of Monfortino, our longest aged Italian wine. Um, we're 14. Ah, yes, Mrs. Paci. Perhaps a bottle of grapefruit juice. 100% juice, no sugar added. I think we're ready to order. She'll be having your garlic meal special with extra garlic sauce. And I'm just here to make sure she eats it. Oh, I see. I'll get that right away. I wouldn't want to be a pain in the neck. Mm -hmm. 
I think that guy knows I'm a vampire. Of course he does. This is where vampires come to get better. I don't know. There's something fishy about this place. Are you sure I can't just have some of your blood? I'll just prick your finger. Oh, Kara, no! Ah, sorry! We have to take your mind off of blood. I know. I'll show you a magic trick. Good idea. So here, I have a plain old salt shaker. Uh-huh. But if I take my fingers and I just snap, I can actually make it float in the air. Whoa, that's awesome. Right? It's actually a super simple trick. I just hide this toothpick behind my finger. It only takes a second to prep. Cool. Got any other tricks up your sleeve? Of course. See this sugar packet? Nothing unusual about it, right? No. And see this stick? Totally normal. Sword! Whatever you're about to do better be cool, or I'm taking away your neck pillow. Take a look. Since you're so obsessed with piercing things, I'm going to pierce this sugar packet. I'm just going to take my sword and slice! But unlike what would happen if you had bit me, there is no tear to be found. What? How did you do that? I'll show you back at the house. One garlic meal special with extra garlic. Be sure to eat up. It is a meal. To die for. Walker, I can't eat this. The garlic smells repulsive. Come on, Akira, you have to. Just pretend it's covered in blood. <gasps> Is that real blood? No, it's red food dye. Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. I see you've cleaned your plate. Thanks. It was disgusting. Does this mean she's cured? Ah, not quite yet. She still has to have dessert. I present to you a triple garlic, garlic milkshake. You, no. I can't eat any more garlic. Akira, you have to. Your friend is right. It is the only way. No. Very well. You know want to shake? You get the steak! He is not getting a 20% tip. My name is not actually Sebastian. It's Van Helsing, world famous vampire slayer. Wait, what? I thought vampires come here to get cured. Well, sometimes the garlic meal works, but most times you have to resort to plan B. I'd say I'm sorry, but Plan B is way more fun for me. Any last words? Look over there. I'm not going to fall for that. Oh, no, no, no. I meant, I meant look over there. Oh, over there? Ah! Run! Doors are locked. So long, vampire. Okay, now I'm freaking out. Ah! Hey, 
Hey, not fair! <laughs> Looks like the tables have turned, Van Helsing. Ready to serve me dinner? Akira, wait! You don't want to be a vampire. Yeah, listen to that guy. I know that you can resist this. Just let him go and I'm sure he'll leave us in peace. Yes, I promise. I I've never even slain a vampire. I'm not even the real Van Helsing. Then who are you? I'm his son, Dan Helsing. <laughs> Big disappointment. <sighs> okay, get out of here. We're still friends, right? How do you know I won't bite you? Because I trust you, Akira. We can never hurt one another, or our hearts would bleed, remember? Yeah. Hey, is that Merlin behind you? Ow! Hey, my fangs are gone, and I have a reflection. I read you the remedy potion you made. I looked up Allium Sativa, and it turns out it's not tinfoil. It's just a really old way of saying garlic. Wait, if you redid my remedy potion, then why did you wait so long to give it to me? It was a last resort. I hate needles. How long has that guy been there? About five minutes. You kids sure know how to get out of a pickle. Let's get out of here. Promise to never bring a vampire bat in the house ever again. I promise to be more cautious. So how did you pull off that trick with the sugar packet? Oh, it's super fun. Let's go to the junk tour. For this trick, you'll need two sugar packets, double-sided tape, regular tape, scissors, a stirrer, markers, and a pencil. Start with your stir stick and draw a sword on one side. I'm gonna make a samurai sword. Now it's time to prep your sugar packet. The secret of your packet is that there's a pouch behind it. Tear off a corner of one of your packets. Empty most of the sugar until there's a tiny bit left. Cut about a third of a packet keeping the sugar inside. Apply tape to both sides of your packet like this. Leave enough room for the stick to pass through. Now cut a small sliver off each side, but be careful not to cut open the packet. This will make sure the pouch is smaller than the packet. Now stick the pouch to your left thumb using double-sided tape. Hold your sugar packet in your left hand with the pouch behind it. That's all the prep, now for the trick. Start by showing off your seemingly normal sugar packet and stir stick. Wave your stick up and down, and at the same time, turn it over to the sword side. Now fold the sugar packet in half like this. Now pretend to stab the sugar packet, but actually stab the pouch on your thumb. Shake the packet so sugar falls out. Now show off that your sugar packet has no rip. At the same time, drop your left hand hiding the pouch. And that's all there is to it. So cool. I've got to try it.
That was awesome. Thanks. Are you okay? Is there something wrong with your neck? I don't, I don't know. Did you accidentally bite me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. These are fake. Walker! Akira? Akira? Whew. I can finally practice my straitjacket escape without Akira bothering me. Surprise! I got my invisibility potion to work. Akira? Don't you dare. Akira, no. Hey, Akira. <laughs> Akira, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. <laughs>